Uh, it's a pleasure to introduce the next speaker, this is Edgar Bonilla. Where is Edgar? I don't see. Him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, Edgar is original from uh, uh, Caracas, Venezuela. He attended the Simon Bolivar Universita University um, uh, for his undergraduate studies. Uh, he came to Stanford and as a PhD student, he worked on gravitational wave detection and astronomy, uh, advised by uh, Professor Bob Bayer and Brian Lanz. Um, after graduating, Edgar uh, will continue working as a postdoc uh, in the LIGO group here at Stanford. Please welcome uh, uh, Edgar. Thank you, Giorgio. Um, I'm quite surprised that um, you mentioned that I'm trying to pursue a wildlife in New Zealand, but it's okay. Um, well, it feels a lot more solid than I expected. <clears throat> uh, so, thank you very much uh, to all of you for being here. And I want to start by saying congratulations to all the graduates, both the PhD, the masters, and the undergrad for the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. It's very great to see you all being here congregated. Um, this is a moment where we celebrate not just this situation where we're all here gathered, but the whole journey of getting here. I, I believe that that journey has been filled uh, with a lot of struggle, a lot of hardship, long nights, long hours at the lab or the office, but also great insight, um, great knowledge, much, much learning, and a lot of support from the people that surround us. In the end, what matters is that it is all done. Uh, we're, we're on the other side now. <laughs> and the undergrads become graduates now, and the PhD students become doctors. Although I still cannot save a dying patient. Uh, my brother will always uh, give me a hard time for that. He's a, a, useless, a useful doctor, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, now seriously though, um, when I was approached to give this speech, I thought I could really capture the, the journey that everyone has gone through to get here. And I was thinking, I would make this great speech, everyone's gonna really resonate with it. The truth is, I, I just can't. Uh, I could not, I could not do that. And it is because everyone has had a very unique journey to get here, heck. Um, I'm a person from Venezuela, as Giorgio, as Giorgio said, uh, I was born in Caracas, but I spent most of my life living close to the Amazon forest in the jungle, where mo the only interesting thing that happened once is that an anaconda was living under a bridge, and everyone was very excited about it. Um, my, spend, my parents uh, spent all of the life savings so I could uh, come here to pursue uh, graduate school, and I don't know, it's, uh, that's not even getting it to the beginning of what happened during grad school. I'm pretty sure that I'm not unique in that respect. Every single one of you sitting in the audience, every one of the graduates has their own particular unique stories to tell. And I think there's no way I could fit all of that into a three minute speech. So I'm just gonna not try to. <clears throat> So that's why, in this moment of celebration, I just want you to carry two things with you. The first one is please feel very, very proud of your academic achievement. I think, again, as I said, it's a big struggle. We all know the grind. And you should feel proud of it. Even if you feel like you don't deserve it, you do. You really do. We all do. Now also, take a time to breathe. You know, it's, uh, we are all high achievers here, so everyone's thinking about the next thing that we're trying to do. This is a moment to stop back, reflect for a second, and think about all of the cool stories that came out of, the, uh, of your journey here at Stanford. All of those crazy nights at the lab, maybe that time that someone hiked and almost fell to their death, that time that you uh, tried to make popcorn and almost burned your house, house, your house down to the ground. Uh, this didn't happen to me, just saying. Or maybe that time that you went to a conference and met a bunch of people and said, oh yeah, we're gonna get together, it's gonna be great, and never contacted them again. <laughs> um, or maybe, oh, that time that maybe you ordered some parts for the lab and ended up 
misplacing a zero and order 10 times more than you actually needed to. Uh, didn't happen to me, happened to a friend. But, but for real, just reflect back, think about all that happened, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it is part of who you are now, and it's good to share it around with all the people around. So if, uh, if you're a graduate, just think about your journey, feel proud of yourself. If you're talking to a graduate, a graduate someone in the audience, please ask someone about their story. I'm sure that there's so many amazing things to hear, and there's so many stories to share. Let's celebrate the people. Thank you very much. <laughs>